Hi, I'm going to do a quick demo of the new feature for PyAirbyte declarative YAML sources. Uh, so we're going to start off by installing PyAirbyte. Uh, we are using a uh, Google Colab. Uh, we don't need to add virtual environment support for this demo. So I have it here. Uh, normally we would install this. We're going to skip that and just install, um, install AirBite. Uh, next, uh, while that's running, um, we're going to look at our first demo, uh, which is to install with source manifest equals true. Uh, so source manifest equals true um, is a new addition to get source. Um, and if we specify we want to use the manifest file, which is what we're doing here, uh, then we'll skip the installation of the connector itself and we'll just use uh, the manifest. So I'm using the source pokey API. Um, I'm getting get source from experimental. Um, normally I would do ab.getSource. Um, and that is uh, not because of stability reasons, but just uh, while we've uh, finalized the, the API. So we're going to run this. And you can see that it's installing. Well, that's, that was quick. Um, it was installing uh, the connector via the manifest, um, which means it didn't actually need to install the, um, the uh, connector per se. Uh, it downloaded the YAML file from a specific location in our GitHub directory based on the name of the uh, connector. Uh, great, so it ran uh, with no additional installation needed uh, except that download that happened transparently. Uh, that is the first demo. Second demo is uh, if you are building your own custom connector. So I'm going to uh, jump over real quick to um, to the uh, connector builder. So I have this running on my uh, local machine, localhost, um, and I have built what I think is a very cool uh, Rick and Morty API. It just has a single stream uh, that is characters. Um, I can test that it is generating data. Um, I did this all in the UI without having to write any code. Um, I can see that it is emitting um, character data here. I can go and see, okay, it's, check, it's correctly getting pages. Great, so I'm happy with my connector. All I have to do now is go over to this YAML view, select all of this, and copy it. Then I'll take this over to um, my workbook, and I've already pasted it in here. Um, so uh, I just paste it in here. Uh, source manifest text uh, is just an exact copy-paste of what we got from the builder. Um, and now we can run our custom source. Uh, we're going to use the YAML, um, PyYAML um, library to just convert this into a Python dictionary. And we're going to pass the dictionary to get source instead of what we provided last time, which was just the word true here. Uh, so we're providing a specific um, manifest definition, um, and we can run it. Um, this supports check, and it supports read, and all the things that a connector normally does. The only thing it doesn't need to be done is install because it's uh, leveraging uh, the code in uh, PyAirbyte and in the CDK that, uh, that PyAirbyte um, is wrapping. Uh, great, so we can see, uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> I ran this demo before to show that it's actually working. Uh, first full refresh equals true. Um, I believe that should force, uh, what did I get wrong? Oh, not in get source, it's in read. All right, uh, that still didn't work. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we're getting data. Um, all right, so now we can see that it is, it is uh, correctly uh, writing all of the data um, as expected. Um, great. Um, finally, um, we're going to do uh, a, just a simple print of available connectors, um, passing in YAML. Previously, this uh, function just printed all the Python connectors. Um, we've added an argument so you can uh, get the list of available connectors based on a specific install type. And the install type in this case is YAML. So there are, let's see, um, as of now, there are 136 YAML sources. Uh, that can be installed um, just in this simple method and without requiring a virtual environment. So you can check these out um, and experiment them.
create your own. Uh, and yeah, let us know what you think.